Your Highness, you would not try and jump up in the air because of the dangerous gravity situation. Gravity sitting action? What on earth are you blithering about? We just had tea in the lunar module, Albert. There is not any air on the moon. And the gravity is much less than on Earth, so we may float in the space if we are not too careful. Well, if there is no air, how are we able to breathe? Albert, I do believe you've been drinking too many calculations again. I told you to refrain from mathematical beverages until after we have partaken of the lunar cheese and assorted biscuits. Yeah? Your Highness, there is no cheese on the moon. The moon is not my tough cheese. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 I am sorry, but there is no cheese on the moon, Your Majesty. Made just tea? No, I will eat the cheese and assorted biscuits before I drink any more tea. I think the sink atmosphere is making your hearing bad. At most I fear a heated bath. Albert, you really do talk a lot of rot. Yeah, yeah. My favorite lunar cheese, in my opinion, is called Magelli San. It is often crated onto space yeti or other pastas with added moon rooms with orbital herb and comet sauce. Hopefully when the Astro Cook returns from gathering cheese and moon rooms, our kitchen navigator will blast off a fresh dish of lunar pasta. Albert, you are a major obstacle to the cheese and assorted biscuits. You will have to go. Go. <gasps> yeah, I seem not to be injured. What would that you did? Are you mad? La la leader dee doo dum. Oh, sorry. Albert? I think now is a good time for another cup of tar, oh dear. Your Highness. <laughs>